Hi, my name is Miss Parks, and today we are going to be looking deeply into the Santa Rosa Police Department as well as the Santa Rosa, California Sheriff's Department and the atrocities, murders, traumas, and brutalities that people in the city of Santa Rosa, California have suffered. Sadly, though this is the first video, by the end of this video, Who's got or last rather lethal? by the end of this video, Who's got last lethal? this person's life will no longer be a part of us amongst the living. It is a very lethal? sad thing that this is a repeated incident quite often by the Santa Rosa Police Department. Okay, I need a reaction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey guys. Drop it in the face. Drop it now. Drop it. Drop it. I'm not going to drop it. Taze, taze, taze. Watch rocks, guys. Using a taser is less lethal. If we get a taser, I'm going to use a gun. So I don't understand why now, so now, many now. incidents taser, over taser. many, many years have been committed taser. by the Santa Rosa Police Department taser. as taser far again. as killing Let's Kai Kaka. Yeah. As you can see, they've already tasted this guy numerous times and they're going to continue to produce him numerous more times until his death. And at one point, you can hear the taser actually sever it. They actually threw his skin into his bones. Sad. Got another taser. You're gonna get tased again. Get the cuff on that hand. Get the cuff on that hand. Get the cuff. Get a cuff. Dude, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting, dude. I can't get this fucking arm. Stop fighting. Even if this is a violent criminal of any kind, I still, as a citizen of Santa Rosa, do not wish this to be the way that our officers, sheriffs, or Santa Rosa Police Department handle our people. Double cuff it. Double cuff it. Here we go. Everybody okay? Yeah. Just because we got a bag of crystal right here. I don't know if it's fentanyl or if it's meth. Okay. Let's keep him contained. Get him on the side. Get him on the side. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Get him on the side. Get him on the side. Get him on the side. Come on. Yeah. Hey, who's camera? Relax, buddy. Okay. Stay with us. Get him on the side. He's bleeding from the face. Yeah. Hey. Sorry. Get him on the side. Get him on the side. Alright. Hey, buddy. Watch out for the, nobody yeah, inhale that vehicle, if it's fentanyl. Possibly OD. Hey, give me an opening on the street here. We got it. All right. We're good. Yeah, can you advise? Hey, stay away from the. If that's fentanyl, I don't want anybody inhaling that. Hey, 
Make sure you keep vitals on him. Make sure he's breathing. Okay. Oftentimes, even though we've had trained professionals for years to deal with mental health issues, this is the way that mental health issues right. are handled. The sad fact is that because this is a mental health issue, there is no reason for police to kill this that. person, even if they did have to. I gotta make sure the roads open down in some here. way or another. We had a bunch of cars. Hey guys, come move cars with me. Make sure medical can get in. Also, I think it is very <gasps> unprofessional there were cars stacked up. to have a host of police cars blocking the entire street in case there is a need for any so kind of right medical sure attention for anything, period, including fires, since our state is known to have really bad forest fires. Make sure the door is open. Cars in the driveway. Get these cars out of the road. Get this one out of the road. Get it out of the road. Get this one. Move this one. Get that one. We're coming. Can I get through? Come on. Hey, move these other cars. Get these other cars out of the road. Pull them up. All right, partner. Thanks. Hang out here. He's I'm trying to figure out what's going on. There was no regard for this man's life. This man was also handcuffed to the ambulance bed, even though this man is limpless and already dead, as we already can see. Watch this back, guys. This is the kind of policing that leads all people of all colors, all cultures in America to riots and other types of means of releasing their anger. It is unnecessary for people's lives to ever be taken by the hands of people 
who are called professionals. You cannot be a professional if you are, in fact, taking the lives of so many citizens. And over so many years, there has been many lives lost in Sonoma County, as well as Sonoma County. Getting a couple of the units to uh, um, rope off the end out here with some tape. Don't let any more cars through. Stand by with a couple of the witnesses. Let's not let any more cars through here. And we need to tape off the end of the street here and we'll work our way down. Uh, I think the, the guns and the shooting and stuff was going on down here. Yeah, you gotta come. We're, we're dealing with an incident down here right now. Sorry. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, just pull out. What's that? Uh, no, just hang out right here for a second and we'll figure it out. We pay for these guys' taxes. Why is that police officer talking to that man in such a degrading way? He has no authority here. We are the authority, and we need to take back our power. Grab some tape and start right here. Okay. I know so, they're still working on him. Yeah. But so we I don't want anybody else on this court. We, right. we, we we can slow this down a little bit. Yeah. Let's get some tape. I don't want anybody else entering. Okay. You got tape in your car? Uh, I don't like to check. This is our car, yeah. Can you pull it back and I'll pull the engine there so I can drop it. Okay. Can you pull us back? Get some tape and tape off where my patrol car is right there. Right there in the middle. Okay, do you have any, do you have to take them back to your carpet chance? You gotta look, I'm sure I do. Ready? Is she, is she parking? Okay. I just don't want anybody else in and out of here while we section this off. Are these witnesses? Okay. We, I, we just got to slow it down real quick. I want to get this. There's cars trying to get in and out, and I don't want that to happen. So let's start with that. Don't leave here. Stay with them, and I'll, I'm going to start directing some resources. I got to start making some calls. If you can do that. I'm going to get the tape. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, so I don't the, know if you saw. It's, it's going to be like a 2 2 3 type rifle. Okay, we're going to we'll find there's it. There's a hole in the car over here. Yeah. yeah. We'll, so we'll find it, but let's. Yeah. let's I let's want to secure the lockdown. scheme. First things first. And I got to make a phone call. Hey buddy, are you still at work? Oh, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know if you were still out with the DBSA thing. Um, what should I call the on-call, isn't it? 
Um, well, we got kind of a big incident here. We um, we got called to the dead end of Peach Court of a 5150 guy with a rifle that was running around in the backyard. It was like he maybe fired a couple rounds. Um, our whole team got here. Uh, he was 11-5 in the middle of the street. He had a couple big rocks in his hand. He was running all around. And uh, he ended up... Uh, Dodge around and everything, we end up hitting him with a taser, and it probably took about seven of us to get him in custody and custody, and then he just towed him on the, uh, on the ground, right after we got him in custody, uh, medical side of the scene, right now, basically, so, it looks like the whole industry is tied up on this, we're trying to uh, get it all shut down, do the article search for the rifle, and we got like a whole lot of cars here, hidden in. So I'm just kind of slowing the scene down here right now. They're doing CPR on him right now. He he, more than he might code out here. Um, our whole team, the whole union team. Yeah, yeah. If there's, I think I got the whole team out here. So the call came out as uh, him going through backyards of houses here on Peach Court. He had a rifle and was shooting rounds. So it was maybe a potential active shooter call and. Um, we got out here. All of us were. <clears throat> we all went hands on. So, we tased him, and um, he got tased again when he was on the ground. And so, we were all struggling to get his hands behind his back. Um, he was face down. He's got some blood on his face. And uh, we got him handcuffed, put him on his side, called for medical, had to run back and clear the street to get the medical through. They got here, and so they've been working on him for the last probably 10 or 15 minutes. It's the dead end of Peach Court. I think I'm taping it off, so um, we'll go from there. Okay, coming back. Okay, let's start working this slowly. Yeah. We need to come up with a search plan. Uh, they're working on him. We're going to close this up. I just called Marinzik. Yeah. Our whole team's in. Who's, who's not out here? Probably better. I think everyone's here. I think yeah. um, Guys, let's. Uh, I got Jerry here. Who do I got available? Um, hey, guys. I need one to stay with the body. Lamb, why don't you stay with the body? And I need to come. We need to get a search team together over here. Okay. Who do I got over here? Marwig. Right, right. Or down okay, let's go over here. Come on, guys. Let's. Who was? Who was my? Yeah. Do Do we have like a solid? Uh, let's pathway, talk about it over here. Pathway. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Uh, come over here. Let's get. Who else do we have? Frank. Lambs with. I know. Gentlemen. Let me get Frank. Frankie's Let's come up with a, a plan where we can do And then I need someone to... So the first place that I saw him yeah. was about where your light was. Okay. In the middle of the street. But somebody were you the, Were you first on scene? No. Who somebody, was first on scene? Joe. I think Joe was. Somebody said, an RP said he was on this, I think it's this driveway. By this here. white truck, right? Somewhere right up here. Yeah. It's a long driveway that goes that way. So maybe so we should push it back a little bit. Okay. Let's go down here. Let me get... Where's Frank at? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. There's, an, there's another SO unit that's gonna just kind of block off down there for security. That's yeah, probably. let's let's figure it out. Um, let's come up with a plan here. We're gonna have to. We might need to move the tape back a little bit more. I didn't know that he was initially. That's why Jerry made it sound like it was down here. But okay, From we'll move. Saw, let's yeah. move it back a little bit then. He did bring up the yeah. Yeah. But he's running back there, so maybe well, let's, he's. Let's keep he, Jerry on that. Okay. Spot then, and then the okay. rest of us. Okay. Cool. All right. Did somebody grab the shield that I dropped somewhere? Uh, it's right here. No. Okay. I'm going to go put this back in the car.
Did you lose class eight? No, I not Um. Okay. Put my light on the gun, died. All right. Everybody all right, though? That's the main thing. Okay. Which driveway? This one? Right here. Okay, so then I think we're good maybe with this. Okay. Maybe we do a secondary. Let's do a secondary one down here. Maybe right there. Just hold it right there. Right there is good. Let's set it up down here. You want to go walk? A little bit more, I think, just in case. Okay. I guess he, he was. You guys originally saw him, or I thought he was originally seen down there, but I no, guess he, he was. He, right here. It was like right over here. Where okay. We, where we paid. So that's why. Got it. Did you get that recorded? I got the pictures. Yeah. Pictures or the video? I got pictures. Is there any video? I got video. Okay. Let me know if you did. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. Uh, what I was going to say is, uh, let's see. Once, so did they say where the canines are out from? I did not hear. Okay. And Ralph Ramona Park. Ralph That's what Park. I was looking okay. for. So okay. Ralph Park has the canine. Yeah. Um, is there a sheriff canine wonder? Okay. Um... Um, okay. Um, you want to get his bar here? Yeah, um, did you, have you, you made contact with this guy, Matt? Or do we still need to get his horsepower and everything? Let's get his horsepower and everything, because he had to drone up. Let's get all that information. Okay. Can you guys get that real quick? Sure, all right, man. Um... Yeah, as soon as the canine gets here, we can start doing a... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll come up with a team here. Okay. And then, um, like, yeah, even this lady down here, where I taped uh, in front of her house, she yeah. said she heard the shots. And she did? So, okay. Yeah, so she um, she saw them running, I think, up and down the street. But then so, guys, let's... Uh, so Where's okay, the tape at? Oh, right here. Okay, we're good. We rally up. And Why don't we do this? We'll start a search here, and we'll go... Okay. Um, is that for me? Yeah. Yeah. Sam, throw three, go ahead. Yeah, firm. So we initially saw them around here somewhere. Yeah, that's. Um, let's move the, let's cars, move the cars, guys. Yeah, I came. I came sprinting back here because I knew the cars were blocking the road and the ambulance was behind. We had to get them through, you know. Uh, let's let's clear the road, guys. Hey, help with just the tape to get them through. Undo the tape. Let them through real quick. Yeah. Tell him. Um, hey, it's Crosby. Hey, what's up, buddy? Okay. Uh, yeah, I have. So here, here, I do. That's what I'm gonna do. I have it taped off. Uh, he's gonna be transported at this point, so I don't know if they got something going on him, but uh, he. Ambulance out of here. We get it all taped off. I got the SO I just called out with the dog. We're gonna do an article search because um, he did fire some kind of rifle, or weapon there's some holes in a car and so we got to do a house to house yard search he was all over the place uh, looking for that weapon i we don't know we haven't even gotten that far dan we uh with the, like i said our whole team responded to basically an active shooter call so um he was just he was he had no shirt on 11 5 is out of his mind in the street when we got here so um we're going to get him to the hospital. We'll see what happens with him there. I'm going to have a unit go with him there, ride with him there. Yeah, I'm going to call them right now. And, yeah, my next thing is we're, we're going to need day shift in probably early just while we figure all this out. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, we're right. And that's why I want to get a, get a call out to you as soon as I can.
Also, notice here how they pull this man out of the car. That is not the way to treat somebody who has just been shot. This seems to be a repeated pattern in Santa Rosa, California. Police brutality, especially on brown, black, poor white homeless people and poor white people. This seems to be a very unusual pattern for a police department. If you look closely at how many cops it takes to actually put this man in handcuffs, let alone we don't What's even know the entire situation. What's your name, bro? God. What's that, buddy? God. God? This man was tased and shot. God knows how many times. And yet, in this entire time, I've seen no proper gentleness or any way that they could handle him in a different and more professional way while he does need medical attention. These officers are sworn by the oath of the Constitution to protect the law, yet some of these officers have been the same officers who have been racist, transphobic, homophobic to me and friends of mine. And it is a very, very scary thing when you're in that situation. Oh, hey guys, yeah. Try not to. 
Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'll try to, here, I'll just put my foot here, maybe. I don't know if that'll help. Yeah, where do you want, Matt? You have to help go under. Okay, there's another, there's another shell case right there, too. That's the way it goes. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, there's one in front, one in back of me. He wants help pushing the, so we don't run him over. Okay. Okay, there's, there's another casing right under his body. Good. One, three, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, I my arm to the table. Got one in the back of his left arm. Chest, right? That's one in the, the chest is coming like out. The exit's on the back and the yeah. two, the, two in the tricep, left tricep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, one in his forearm down. Looks oh, like two. What's that, bro? Yeah. Thanks. That's cool. I'll, I'll get the man size one out of my pocket. Right after the shots. Okay. Um, I got here when he was okay. just down in the car. We need to cross, boss. Okay. Mikey. All right, Mike. Good. Yeah, we're good. So, can you do me a favor? Yep. Can you let Sergeant just keep his guys back? So we don't want to go where the shot casings are. Okay. Hey, what's happening, brother? Hey, guys. Can you guys do me a favor? Just because we're going to just come bring it back here a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Thanks. Just because there's shell cases got everywhere. It. Got it. These guys are already kicking them around a little bit, just okay. trying to help yeah. the guy, you know. No, that's cool. Thanks, buddy. Oftentimes, it seems to be a little bit too casual how these police congratulate each other and show camaraderie with each other. And then all but is left to see. All right. As we get closer, closer, and a little bit closer. So, uh, Nothing but blood. Blood, blood, blood. The video you are about to see does not exactly show the 13-year-old child, Andy Lopez, who was killed in Santa Rosa, California. He was 13 years old. There's no reason for unprofessionalists. Now, Please this is the last video point. where the and just before he was shot and killed. About this time is when I really wish that we would have gotten to see what happened to Andy Lopez because this was such a sad event and the fact is that he was 13 years old and there's no excuse. Fuck, I don't even know if this is safe. Hold on, video two coming. Now this incident here is a family member of another family member of mine that I personally know. This incident has never really got yes, a full be a location. Or Trenton Road. Okay. Can I help you? 
Yeah, hi. So I was at work this afternoon. My mom, first my wife called me and told me that this guy came over and he was an old friend of mine. Um, this was before he got into gang about 11 years ago. Okay, what um, happened was, today that you're on 914? So what's going, what happened was my mom asked him, he came and knocked on the door looking for me. My mom said, I'm not opening doors, you need to leave. He kicked the door open. He came in, pushed my mom on the floor. When did this happen? This happened this morning around, I want to say approximately 11, 12 o'clock. And then after he did that, he came over to my residence and he clicked, um, He started telling my wife that she didn't open the door. He started counting down five, four, three, two, one, that he was going to kick that door open. He threatened my wife. Okay, what's that on, address? It, Okay, where did he go first? Sir, you're on 911 and we have a million things happening right now. Sure. So what's happening right now? Right, right now, they just came by and pointed guns at us. Okay. And That's what I That's my... more important than what happened this morning. How long ago did they leave? Uh, they left um, uh, about three minutes ago. In what kind of vehicle? Uh, with, I say, white uh, Durango. Okay, white wait, Durango where did he go? Uh, uh, it's a white dog Dakota that I live like on a dirt highway, uh, like an SUV. So Durango. Durango. Which way did it go? Yeah, so I live on a dirt road, so I live in Fort Yes, and okay. they probably went towards Drake, so that's where he lives. Sonoma County Sheriff's officers purposely released their dogs on this poor brown and black man and his family, causing them severe trauma. Most of these incidents cause severe trauma to people and some form of PTSD.
I don't know, what does it seem like to you? Does it seem like any of the people in any of these videos are happy? Does it seem like you would be happy after you die? Could you relate to any of these people? This is the reason why we need change. Please, it's, 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 Are you sure if I can help you? Um, yes. Uh, uh, a guy just uh, took, a, took my car. He took your car? Yeah, he pulled, pulled a gun on me and took the car. Okay, this just happened? Uh, about <laughs> five, ten minutes ago, yeah. Okay, see you real quick here. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean.
traumatizing to hear a police dog eager this to fuck you up right and take your life, which in this case, me? it okay? seems to be. Get out of the vehicle, head towards us, and we can talk. Right now, I'm trying to get you in the safe position to have a conversation, all right? I understand, I got a dog right here, so step on out so we can talk. You're being detained. You are being detained. No, it means you're being detained. Step on out and walk towards me. Well, if you'd like to be under arrest for uh, delaying and resisting, yes, you are under arrest. Step out of the vehicle. My investigation for the carjacking. Keep your hands up. Close the door. So I can keep your dog in there. Uh, let's find some Frenchie. It's a Frenchie. Keep your hands up, walk towards us slowly. Keep coming. This way. To your right. Keep coming. Drop to your right. Drop to your right. Crawl towards us. Crawl towards us. Crawl towards us, Crawl towards us right now. Get on the ground. Crawl towards us. Crawl towards us. I'm not going to tell you again. Stop, 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 stop. Get your hands behind your back. Get your 
What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? See, uh, you're, you're obviously the man right. has not died, but even with some of I the police professionalism, the dog obviously has ripped this man's bicep apart. That no is unprofessional. Why and it is unprofessional once again to see a dog who is not in so control by the Santa Rosa or sheriffs. Why did they let the dog attack me? You guys I was not a threat to anyone. I had my hands in the air. You have to tell me why you are treating me this way. The dog just tore my bicep out. You know how you're gonna be sued. You're gonna be sued, big time. You know that right. All right, roll it on your stuff. Now you're gonna be sued, right? Yeah, I got some. That hurts. Yeah. Ah! Stand up. Stand up. And here, as in other parts of other video, where the man, Angelo Wyrax, was attacked by a sheriff's dog. After being attacked by a dog, they have no compassion and are trying to lift the man as though he is not injured. And their dog has not ripped his bicep apart. I got on my knees. I had my hands in the air. All you had to do was get out and talk to us. And I did! And I did! Why, how did I get here? How did I get here? Hey, where's your bite at, buddy? Because I came on my own free will. Why are... Hey, I'm going to grab on your forearm and help I was you up, fully right? cooperative and you let your dog attack me! Can you stand up for me? Can you stand up? Let's get you up. I want... How? How am I supposed to stand up? Tuck your, tuck your leg in. Hello, I'm Sonoma County Sheriff Mark Essick. I'm here to talk to you about a critical incident we had on November 27th. It started when we received a call from the Santa Rosa Police Department that a car, which had been stolen during a carjacking several days prior, had been located and was on the move. Our deputies responded and tried to pull it over. The driver, 52-year-old David Glenn Ward, started to pull over but then took off and started a pursuit. What our deputies did not know at the time was that Mr. Ward was not only the owner of the car but the victim of the earlier carjacking. The suspect had pistol whipped him and stole his car. Mr. Ward had recovered the car but failed to report it. It remains a mystery as to why he fled from our deputies. Once the pursuit ended, Mr. Ward remained in the car and force was used to remove him. Once removed, Mr. Ward showed signs of a medical emergency and he later died at a local hospital. We will show you the body-worn camera video of the pursuit and other material from this incident. A warning, viewers may find the conclusion of this video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. It is far from the truth and it is uncompassionate and it is many, many, many lies upon lies told by many police chiefs and many sheriff chiefs, just like Mark Essex, the sheriff chief you just saw. He told a lie. On his duty, so many innocent lives have been taken. White, brown, black, all Sonoma County citizens. This is scary. Also, it is good to know that this man was robbed previously and also had this car stolen from him, was pistol whipped, and also recovered his car. I'm sure this man was not in his right mind. And he's also somewhere in the age, around the age of 50. Because this could have been my grandfather, your grandfather, anyone's grandfather, it gravely concerns me 
as to the fact of how these police officers are handling this man. In our country here in America, there are so many incidents reported of people's lives through our dark and brown being taken, but most incidents of people who are poor and white having their lives taken are not reported. This is the most horrific and sad video I've ever seen in my entire life. We have to wonder whose life is next. And if in fact there is white privilege, why is this poor white man being treated the same as George Floyd or anyone else, and actually worse, being pulled out of his car, which could rip his bones apart, especially at his age? As this incident is unfolding, there is no words I can do to console you. All I can say to you is please be safe and please look out for each other. Santa Rosa citizens, we need to rise up and stop this from happening ever again, ever again. Thank you for joining me for this video, and there should be many more documentaries in the future. Thank you so much. body-worn camera video closely, you may be concerned by what you saw. So was I. The way Deputy Blount handles the entire situation is extremely troubling. As a result, I've served Deputy Blount a notice of termination. He has been on administrative leave since this incident occurred, and he will remain on leave until the conclusion of this investigation and all potential appeals in the case of taking place. We release these videos so the community can get as full of pictures as possible about the critical incidents in our county, regardless of whether it puts us in good light or bad. Please know that this one person does not reflect the culture of the Sonoma County Sheriff's Office and does not represent the hardworking men and women who work here. As Sheriff, I'm committed to make sure our deputies work within established policy 